Hi everyone. Time for another list. This is from You Discover Music. The best album covers, 100 pioneering record designs. So something hopefully, you know, a little more positive. And we'll go through the list and see what I think of them and what you think of them. I wonder if the Sgt. Pepper album cover will show up. <laughs> So, the, oh yeah, the Flaming Groovy Super Snaz. I've seen this album cover before. Flaming Groovies are a good band. I love that album cover. Almost reminds me of, uh, yeah, like Mickey Mouse in the 20s, 30s, 1969. Odessa. Now, I know that album cover might look a little dull, but it had a like a felt, yeah, red felt cover. So it felt kind of uh, cool. It might not look cool. <laughs> Rolling Stones Baker's Banquet. Of course, that uh, replaced the original idea, which was not one of the uh, nicest looking album covers with the toilet and everything, like dirt, dirty bathroom, but... I like that, uh, kind of like the Beatles white album, very plain, but it's classy looking. So yeah, I just realized, I guess in the UK, it wasn't this cover. This was just for the US. Old Dirty Bastard. I like that. Return to the 36 Chambers. <laughs> His ID card. Yep, I have that album. Nick Lowe, Jesus of C Cool. And it's also called, in the UK, it's called one thing. And then the other, and in the States, it's called Pure Pop for Now People, I believe. Yep, like that. Long John Silver, Jefferson Airplane. Yeah, since people were already using LPs to store and clean marijuana, the airplane gave you a cardboard box holder for it. Billie Eilish. It's pretty, pretty cool album cover. Parliament. You always have to love these <laughs> Parliament album covers. Mothership Connection. A fun, silly album cover. I like it. Ghetto Boys We Can't Be Stopped. <laughs> I guess not. Candy O with, uh, yeah, designed by Alberto Vargas. Is that how it's pronounced? Famous, uh, artist and a very good album i don't know about courtney love being america's sweetheart but good album cover yeah i love this album cover the original kind of 3d-ish where the faces would turn and it's actually a very underrated album i really love the Flowers of Romance. It's okay. Yep, The Velvet Underground, the original, you would peel and it would just be a, a banana, unpeeled. <laughs> Pe yeah, peel slow. No, what, what does that say there? It's very small writing. Yeah, peel slowly and see. The Miracles? Hi, we're the Miracles. Cool. Pretty good album cover for 1961. With the great Smokey Robinson. Yeah, I always like that album cover. The Go-Go's. Beauty and the Beat. Dr. Dre, The Chronic. Quincy Jones, The Dude. Not 
crazy about that one. Or that one. I, I don't even know what that would be. Maybe somebody can let me know. James Brown. Hell. Cool. Slayer. Rain in Blood. Yeah, th this, this has to be... I remember seeing this in the record stores around the time it came out, probably, and, you know, just flipping through the vinyl records, and that just stood out, like... <laughs> and it would make you wonder... And I didn't know, if, you know, I didn't hear the music within for a few more years, but it's got to be one of the <clears throat> greatest album covers ever. Moby Grape, wow. Very different. Not really a fan of that one. Kanye West. Yep, that's a very famous album cover. And then the band The Fall did a did a similar cover, and I think it said 50,000 Fall fans can't be wrong. <laughs> Black Flag, My War. I like it, actually. Not really a fav favorite of mine, speaking in tongues. But let me know. Some people, some people disagree with my thoughts, and that's okay. We can have different opinions. The Mothers of Invention, of course, when it was first first released, it was the gatefold that you would see. And as much as I love this the parody of Sgt. Pepper, I actually love it when it's reversed and you see the band members up close. Pogues, Peace and Love. Different. One of the greatest joke album covers, The Boxer, was already a perfect image for the Pogues. But don't miss the subtle bit of play here. The word peace, of course, has five letters. I'm lost. Maybe somebody can let me know what that means. I see he's got love and peace on his fists. You know. Rush moving pictures. Yeah, I always like the uh, play on words with that. Of course, the Beatles. The Beatles have to be in this list. Yeah, one of the most famous, iconic album covers. Another great one, Marvin Gaye, I Want You. It's cool. Yeah, I remember that one. I think I bought that on vinyl back in the day. Joe Jackson. Yeah, that was kind of disturbing. <laughs> yeah, great design. The original vinyl, and it would, almost like a desk, it would flip out and... You could, I think, make it into a desk. I always like that album cover. Draw the line. Paid in full. Yeah, not really a fan of that one. But I am a fan of this one. <laughs> Make it brain. Yeah. Family Fearless. Multi fold out. Yeah, I guess you can't really always see, you know. Features an early computer graphic. Hmm. Yeah, the Beatles meet the Beatles. Which was, uh, it was called Beatlemania in Canada, but the same, basically the same cover.
Yeah, I love that one. Pink Floyd. Umaguma. And Justice for All. Cool. Yeah, that was... Uh, yeah, the toilet on the original cover, if you can believe your eyes and ears, also proved to be a no-no in 1966. I think they they framed it differently so you couldn't see the toilet. Madonna. 10 CC, 10 out of 10. Pretty good graphics for probably, what, the mid mid eighties. That's cool. Like that one. Never seen that before. Yes. Led Zeppelin two. Another classic. I love this album. And the one I have is a, uh, deluxe version and it's round. It's like, it's a box set, CD box set. Pretty cool. The Small Faces. Dave Mason. Always like that album cover. Die Cut Edges. And the Marble Swirled Disc. Hmm. That was always a good album cover. I like that. New Boots and Panties. Good one. Yeah, that was pretty cool for 1959. I remember that album cover. Yeah, Pink Floyd Animals. It's nice to look at some, you know, pretty good album covers for a change. Although the, the bad album covers are fun. Warehouse Songs and Stories. It's really different. different. Yeah, that's a really class album cover by Blondie. Good one. Utopia, Swing to the Right. <laughs> Looks like they're burning their own, own album cover. Taylor Swift, 1989. I don't know about this one. Um, why, yeah, why in the world did Humble Pie get a bunch of policemen to form a human pyramid? Because they could, of course. <laughs> But, but actually, you know, back in the seventies, when I bought that, I never thought twice about the album cover being as weird as I guess it is. Yeah. I love this album cover. I've got it on CD. I, I did have it on vinyl. It was, uh, Dino. Yeah. The drummer Dino, that's his artwork. It's like from clay. It's really cool. Yeah, Dino Danelli. PJ Harvey to bring you my love. Yep. Good album cover by Oasis. That's cool too. Grace Jones. Let me know which ones you like the most or which ones you think shouldn't even be on this list. A tribe Called Quest, Midnight Marauders. Is that how you say it? Marauders? I don't know. Yes, one of the most famous album covers that isn't Beatles related. Yeah, I like that one. That's the logic. Smashing Pumpkins, Adore. Mm -hmm. Remember Climate uh, Ohio Players? They had a lot of pretty sexual album covers. <laughs> Satan is real. Yeah. I've seen that on a lot of worst album cover lists, but I guess, you know, the Lovin' Brothers, they're like very talented. Classic by David Bowie. Kate Bush, The Kick Inside. That's a good one. I wonder, I don't think Sparks Kimono My Hopes is going to be on this list, but they usually are on, uh, Best album cover lists. Dirty Computer. It's kind of cool. Yeah, that's another great one. Bitches Brew. 
I don't know. Not one of my favorites. I understand the idea behind it. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? Do you like that? Thick as a brick. Yeah, and uh, when that came out in the 70s, and you know, you're reading all the these little newspaper clippings, and I actually thought that little boy had written the lyrics for Thick as a Brick. <laughs> Nirvana, let's go by that one quickly. The Who, Who's Next, classic. Although, uh, years later, I, I read that that sky was just put in, you know, kind of early, like early Photoshop. Yeah, Roger Dean. There should be more than one Roger Dean album cover on this list. I think uh, the Demons, yeah, Demons and Wizards is even a better album cover. Cream, that's a really cool one. Lotus. You don't necessarily get a thing of rare beauty when you load a cover with as many fold-out panels and elaborate paintings as an 11-inch disc can hold. Yep. My favorite 10cc album. Yeah, that's another famous one, Go To. XTC, great band. This is a record cover. <laughs> this writing is the design upon the record cover. Classic by Bruce Springsteen, Born to Run. Ramones, another classic. Pixies. Yeah, they're another Roger Dean one. That might be my favorite Roger Dean cover. That or Tales from topographic oceans. Frank Sinatra. Very classy album cover, Patti Smith. Top 10, Little Creatures. Yeah, some of these you'd have to see, you know, up a little closer. I've never owned, I love Talking Heads, but I kind of gave up on them by that time. John Coltrane. Yep, one of the most famous album covers. A ta uh, Taste of Honey. No, Whipped Cream and Other Delights. That's the title. Kendrick Lamar to Pimp a Butterfly. I always like that album cover. It doesn't really make any sense, like let it bleed. <laughs> but Cheap Thrills, great album cover. There we are. I I figured we would see Sgt. Pepper, but it should be, I think, number one. Yep, Elvis Presley. Of course, The Clash did a parody of that with London Calling. There it is, London Calling, Speak of the Devil. And number one, hmm, the Beastie Boys. I, I don't agree. I don't know if these are ranked. They're numbered, so they must be. But anyway, a lot of very cool album covers. Let me know which ones you liked the most or maybe didn't like. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.